activate all of Windows features, head on over to bobkeys.com. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for as little as $14.62. That's a fraction of retail price. Use offer code IFR25 for 25% off. Copy your key from the user center and paste it here to activate. You can now enjoy all of your Windows 10 features. G'day guys, welcome back to another BTS. Uh, firstly, Amelia and I just wanna thank you guys for your support over on Patreon and YouTube channel members. We couldn't do this without you guys. You help us to afford materials uh, such as acrylic and things. You help us keep our equipment up to date so we can, you know, expand and grow and we have now gone full time because of your guys support so we really appreciate it uh, both Amelia and I and um, yeah I just, just wanted to put that out there for you guys and just thank you guys a lot yeah thank you and we upgraded the camera for the BTS too yes we did Amelia so Amelia is using a new handheld camera which is pretty cool a, a little Sony uh, handheld camera so Thank you to you guys. She was able to get that and... A um, bit better than the mobile quality. A bit better than the phone. <laughs> I mean, we might even upgrade the audio soon for it as well. Uh, but yeah, it's all you guys, so thank you. Yeah, thanks guys. And here we have the Among Us PC. Oh, this PC. Amelia loves RGB. Oh, here we goodness. go. Oh, goodness. <laughs> and the, oh, the unicorn vomit liquid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the... Um, that's the EK... Uh, Mystic Fog yes, yes. liquid, so it's meant to pick up RGB a lot better. And because there's an RGB strip up the top of the case and at the bottom, it shines really nicely in there. Oh, uh, I love it. Yeah. And, I mean, you love the 24-pin uh, cable, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> I want it in my build. <laughs> of course you do. RGB everything for Amelia. What do you think about the back plate, though? Oh, it's... Oh, on the yes. graphics card. Oh, so good. Lots of RGB there as well. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the LCD screen. Uh, we ended up... Well, obviously, this is themed to Among Us, so we just put a little GIF on there. And then we've got the screen down the bottom, thanks to Big O PC Builds, right? Yes. Um, my friend Omar, he, he was awesome. He gave me this little five-inch screen, so we thought... Why don't we use it in the Among Us PC and it turned out pretty cool. Now obviously the GIF that we play on the screen is meant to be full screen but we just quickly loaded it up for you guys. Uh, normally you'd see that full screen. I'm sure if you guys saw the Among Us video then you'll understand what I mean. Have I talked about the acrylic plate yet? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, it's acrylic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's all laser cut acrylic and then we just painted the... Um, uh, little inserts for the Among Us characters and everything like that and Yeah, that's pretty much just stuck onto the acrylic and then cut the uh, Cut this section out for the screen to show and that's pretty much it really It's a nice high-end system and unfortunately it's going to be pulled apart today Oh, So <laughs> sad to see it go because it did turn out nice, but Unfortunately, there's a big mess here and we need to clean up. You're gonna save the liquid, right? Yes, I'm going to try and save the liquid. Well, cool. I always try and save the liquid because we can't afford to keep buying bottles of liquid yeah. every single time. You should so. give away um, away the plate or something. Who wants me to give away the plate? Let me know in the comments because if I'm not giving it away, it's just going to get chucked out. So let us know if you want the plate and uh, maybe we can make something happen. Yeah, it's such a good plate and, and you could just like put a photo of you in there. <laughs> <laughs> to replace the screen. <laughs> or you could screenshot this face and put it there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Amelia gave me a haircut. Yeah, it looks so good, right? <laughs> yeah. Is there some... I bet you there's some bald spots at the back, I'm not. There? I'm not going to zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Stay away and just feather it all, make it look nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you all enjoy. guys this is our giveaway PC that we built uh, this is a bit of a Christmas present for everyone we're talking about cooler master unfortunately they had to region lock some of the areas uh, because of like local laws and things like that but it is open to the majority of the world which is pretty cool uh, it's pretty simple you I'd say it's pretty simple right yeah like compared to some of the other things that we do I think it's so nice but it's red and gold which looks awesome Bits power water cooling, um, 
It's got the red and black plate which we made just with acrylic and vinyl and a bit of paint. We've got AMD on board, Seagate and Cooler Master and MSI. What about the weird thing with the motherboard? Oh yeah, that was so the annoying. The faulty motherboard, that set us behind. We were actually working on Christmas Day to get this out which was a bit annoying but it is what it is really. But yeah, I absolutely love this case though. What do you think? Yeah, I do. Like the front the of it as well, yeah. how, how it picks up light. I don't really have a light shining on it at the moment, but it just looks really nice under like colored light or any type of light. So this one's a giveaway PC. That's exciting, huh? Yeah. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. So um, I mean, exciting. I don't even know if this BTS is going to be out oh, after yeah. the competition ends, though. That's true. The winner probably is already announced. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Just, just know that, yeah, just know that we did wish luck. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because we are filming this, what's today? It's the... Boxing Day. Boxing Day. It's the day after Christmas, 26th. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this PC. The 5800X CPU in here, uh, people are going to enjoy this one. <laughs> what happened to this one? <laughs> uh, some parts went missing. Wow, did it? Wow. Yeah, I kind of needed the CPU and the GPU. Oh. Well, I had to send the 3080 back to MSI, so that one got pulled out. Then I needed the CPU for another build because we don't have many CPUs, so uh, this is pretty much what's left of the Razer build. Oh no, mm. it looks so different. <laughs> uh, wait, do you like it better or...? <laughs> uh, no, I prefer... No. Oh, no, okay. I like it together. <laughs> you know how many comments I got on the, um, the orientation of the tubes of this radiator? Oh, because really? of that stupid Gamers Nexus video. Oh no! Ah, jeez. It doesn't matter what way the orientation is, because the radiator is above the CPU. And also, what a lot of people don't understand is, for this radiator, the CPU isn't mounted in the block here. It's mounted inside the radiator. So, the pump is always lower than the top. People just don't know. Oh, They're no. sheep. They herd like sheep. Oh, they no. follow whatever they want to. Listen. Listen to one person and that's that has to be the way. The only way. That's not how it is, guys. It's not how it is. People have been doing it like this for years. And guess what? Most AIO coolers have three years warranty. So if something did magically burn out just all of a sudden because of a video going out, hey, you've got warranty on it. I mean... And most PC enthusiasts anyway who buy an all-in-one cooler are probably going to be upgrading within three years time anyway. So, but yeah, that was just my thoughts on the situation. Pump in the radiator. But I thought this was a nice build overall, eh? For, for an all-in-one cooler build. We don't do many of them. Yeah, we don't do many of them. What do you guys think of them? Like, yeah. Should we do more on the channel? What do you think? I think we should do a couple more. Like we yeah. have our, now that we're going full time, have a couple of water cooled PCs, and then maybe one day we could get an all in one cooled PC, an air cooled build. Um, I'd like to do some more budget stuff as well, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, let us know what you guys want to see in 2021. How hard is it to film these fans though? Like, the because there's so yeah. much RGB lighting in them, it's so hard to pick them up on camera. Like, you have to make everything dark in order to see the RGB of these fans. Yeah. It's just crazy. But yeah, this was an all MSI build. We had the MSI uh, Gaming X Trio 3080 inside. So, it was a pretty beefy system and we did do some uh, benchmarks as well. So, I'd like to start trying to include benchmarks in videos as well. Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments and uh, thanks for your support, guys. <laughs> This is the Warmu. Well, actually, the case is not called Warmu. The company's called Warmu. I actually have no idea what the case is called. It was Cat something. But this is a prototype case, and uh, they started a Kickstarter. Now we ran into a lot of issues building this. It wasn't a fun experience building it. I mean, putting the hardware in and all that was good, but then when it got to the water cooling. This case is made for a water cooling loop, right? But the radiator's blocking everything off so you can't actually get liquid into the reservoir. 
We couldn't actually fit a reservoir in there either, so it's just got a pump, so we had to have this loose. Hence why we've got these weird carrying handles on the end there. <laughs> <laughs> That's creative, actually. <laughs> it looks ugly, though. I don't like it. The case should have come with two quick disconnects. Yeah, See, I like honestly, like because it's on such a tight like curve there because of how close these are. I, I wouldn't be surprised if one of these just popped out oh like gosh. in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> That's why we need to get this filled, get this thing pulled apart because I do not want that to happen. There's 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 a 3090 in here. Don't want water on that. <laughs> but as far as temperatures go, I don't know if you saw it, Amelia, but. The temperatures that this radiator are capable of is insane. Like I loaded the 3090 up in gaming, a uh, gaming benchmark, and the max temperature I got was 44 degrees. Oh wow. Which is pretty crazy. For like, so all of the fans, are, like the idea behind it is all of the fans are set to intake so that it pressurizes the case and then the air is forced through this front radiator. Uh, it's a cool concept and all, but because it's water cooled, there needs to be an easier way to fill this build. And so, what I suggested was putting this radiator on hinges or something like that, so you can actually open it up, have some quick disconnects on the radiator, so you don't have to have this whatever that is at the end, <laughs> which I hate. And then you can actually fill it like a normal build. But apart from that, it was pretty cool, and it had lots of mounting options. Uh, there was a few things that I had to say in the video about it. Uh, you guys can go and watch that for further detail. I won't bore you with all of that. But um, apart from that, it was a pretty cool concept. One thing that I did suggest is that they need to get the copper radiator um, in black. Because black will suit more more uh, set outs. Like, the copper just stands out, don't you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not really a... Yeah. I don't... Yeah, black. I personally great. wouldn't have it in my setup. Yeah. But black's more of a neutral color. Like even if the whole case was black or the whole case was I don't know, white or yeah. silver or something, you know, like just a neutral color, I think. Um But apart from that, it is a cool concept and the thought behind it is there. It's just the execution needs a few finishing details. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, big thank you to our Patreons and YouTube members. We love you guys. You really help us out. Amelia and I are now full-time in 2021. So that's pretty exciting. So you guys keep us going. Um, and without you guys, we probably wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you guys. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.